In this lesson, we're going to focus on creating the turn signal button on our steering wheel. Now, in reality, the button would be a separate part and it would be integrated into the steering wheel. For the purposes of this video, we're just looking at how to create the geometry. So I'm going to start by creating a sketch on the front plane. I want to create a circle for our steering wheel button. In this case, it looks like 28 millimeters. That'll be about right. I want to drag it to be roughly in place. Then I'm going to fix its center point. Now I want to extrude that on the Features tab as a solid extrude. We're going to use the From drop-down box to offset this. Let's offset it 10 millimeters. And for the blind in direction one, we're going to keep it at 10 millimeters. We want to deselect Merge Results because we don't want it merged with any other solids in the part, and hit OK. Now again on the front plane, I'm going to create another sketch. But we're going to show the sketch from our recent boss extrude. We're going to select its edge. We're going to do an offset. In this case, let's try four millimeters. What we're trying to do here is get the shadowed offset to match the sketch picture. Once we hit OK, we can exit the sketch. And now we want to use the curves drop down split line option. I'm going to project it onto this face. And we're going to use the single direction option, making sure that the arrow is pointing the right direction. If we don't, it's going to split the back face as well. Once we hit OK, notice that we have a split line on our new front face. I'm going to go ahead and hide our sketch picture, go to our Surfaces tab, and use the Delete Face option. We're going to remove this face, and we should be able to notice that we have our solid boss extrude below it. We can go ahead and hide this sketch for our boss extrude, and create a boundary surface. We're going to be going from our open edge from our deleted face, down to the front face of our boss extrude. Now notice when I try to select this, it's actually selecting the face behind it. So you have to be real careful with your selection. I'm going to right click and open my selection manager and make sure that I select the appropriate edge and hit OK. And now what I want to do is apply a tangency to our extruded face edge. I'm going to apply an equal curvature relation to our edge on our surface. The reason I apply a curvature relation to one and a tangency to the other is based on the geometry we're working with. The extruded boss only has a flat face, which means there's no curvature. Applying a tangency relation to the edge is going to give us just as good a result as applying the curvature relation. However, when we're dealing with the surface, we have a lot of curvature in the surface, so we want to make sure that we have a smooth transition going from that surface down to the boss extrude face. We can hit OK and take a look at the result. The next thing we need to do is actually create the domed section to represent our button. So I'm going to go back to the Features tab, and I'm going to use the Dome option. The Dome option will let me select the front face of our boss extrude. We can reduce this, say roughly 2 millimeters, and hit OK. Now remember, this is still a solid part, but all the surrounding geometry is surfaces. So back on our Surfaces tab, we're going to use Offset change the dimension to zero, and select that domed face. Now if we go to our Solid Bodies drop-down, we can hide our dome, but notice that we still have that offset surface. So now we can knit the offset dome, the blend that we created, and the original steering wheel surfaces we're dealing with. Now everything is combined together. The next thing we need to do is actually create the arrow. So for this, I'm going to turn our reference image back on, start another sketch on our front plane, and create this arrow. For this, I'm going to use a few reference lines for construction. And I want to make sure that the midpoints of these lines intersect. Next, I'm going to use the line tool. I'm simply going to draw up over to this line, snap to the endpoint, snap to that end. Now we can use the mirror tool to mirror these entities about our horizontal reference line. Once we've done that, we want to use the offset option. We want to offset this one millimeter, making sure that we do not make basic construction and we do not do bi-directional offset. Once we hit OK, now we can use this sketch with our curves drop down split line and split the domed offset surface. 
Now again, we want to make sure we choose single direction and that we're only going the direction of this surface. Once we hit OK, you can see now we have a separate section on this dome for our arrow. This will come into play later when we start applying materials and we can give this a white material so that it's distinct from the surrounding geometry. That concludes making the turn signal button on our steering wheel.